Hi friends, this is Tina and welcome to my new video. So in this video we are doing something slightly more Christmassy and I'm gonna be painting a couple of these wintery and holidays themed illustrations with watercolor and I really hope you enjoy watching this or maybe even get inspired to paint something like this yourself. I will have all of my used products in the description of this video, but as my notebook, I use one from Etcher Lab. I also use my Van Gogh watercolors that were gifted to me by Royal Talents, and I will try to list all of the shades that I used in this video in the description and also in the video. And as my brushes, I used one from Van Gogh that came with the palette that I'm using, and then I'm using this 3 0 liner brush from Arteza. I'm also using some white gouache for some little details in my paintings. But let's start the paintings itself. So like I said, I'm using this Etcher Lab notebook and they kindly gifted this to me and I've liked using it sometimes, but I haven't really uh, tried it actually that many times. So I decided that it would be a good notebook for this type of paintings. So as you saw in the thumbnail, I'm painting these Christmas and holidays inspired paintings and I wanted to include some more wintry ones as well. So if you don't celebrate Christmas or you just don't feel like painting Christmassy things, you can just paint something from this video anyway. So I started with this gingerbread man and I sketched everything beforehand before I started painting them on this video. But I just basically painted the body or the middle part of the body first and then I just painted these blobs for the feet and hands and the head. And then I just kind of rounded all of those edges and the corners with everything. And then I started adding these brown tones on the paper and as you can see i'm just deepening and darkening the colors as we go forward and i'm pretty much just like adding more and more color because of course with watercolors things are often trying to be a little bit more lighter than what they looked like first so i really had to go in with a lot of layers and just darkening it a lot like more than i thought i would but it definitely gives it this more organic actual like gingerbread cookie feel when you just darken the colors more and I especially focused on the right side of its body and I left the upper left part of the kind of head I don't know if you can call that a head <laughs> the head part kind of lighter in color so it would have a little bit of like color variation and more like I don't know realistic look I guess and this is going to only be the first layer and I'm going to be painting with the white gouache on top. And then I was working on this candy cane on the right side and first I just used the lightest color in the palette and I just made kind of like a base for that and I then started darkening the right side of the candy cane. And when I did that, the base of the gingerbread man had already dried up so I went in with my white gouache now. And as you can see, I was using that white detail brush and I just made basically like an outline for the whole thing. But I left a little part of the brown color kind of still outlining those <laughs> white outlines, I guess. And as you can see, I'm darkening some of the edges a little bit. So, you know, when you add a frosting, you will have this kind of 3D effect. So I tried to make sure that that was still there in this painting as well. And then I'm going back to the candy cane and I'm starting to add those little red um, stripes on it. And I'm just using two of the red colors that are in my palette and I just mix them together to make this really vibrant and beautiful red color. And I'm just adding it with the bigger brush. What I tried to do with all of these paintings was to make it a little bit more realistic and a little bit more shadowy. I tried to focus on just adding some details that would make it actually look more like 3D and a little bit more realistic, like I said. So I started adding these darker little areas in the candy cane, especially on the right side of it, on the red and on the lighter spots. And I tried to imagine that light is hitting the candy cane from the left side and the right side is a little bit more on the shadow and even though this was really fast and simple i think it looks really nice and kind of realistic so it's not just like a really flat illustration 
and then I started working on the Christmas bubble <laughs> I'm not sure how that is pronounced but the Christmas ball ornament and first I just made a base with this kind of more warm and yellowish green and then I started adding this darker and deeper almost bluish green on the left side of it I absolutely love this color in the palette and I think it mixed with that more lighter green just kind of made this perfect effect on the uh, ornament and I tried to make sure that the left side of the ball was a lot more darker in color I let the water and the watercolor just kind of bleed to the color on the right side but still made sure that the right side was much more lighter than the one on the left side and I still deepened some of that color more because I think it looked a little bit more flat when it dried up but I think it looks really nice in the end Then I'm working on something that is not necessarily Christmassy, but I just wanted to create something pretty red and I decided to make this little berry branch. So as you can see, I'm just adding that lighter red color on all of the berries here and then I'm starting to deepen and darken the colors again. And I'm making sure that I'm leaving this little dots of the lighter color red on the top of the berries. If you want to skip the first part and just paint with that lighter red the upper part of the berry, that totally works because I'm pretty much covering the whole thing as you can see but I'm just making sure that I'm leaving that little light spot on the top part and otherwise I'm just painting the whole thing Then I'm starting to deepen the colors even more and I'm adding some darker colors kind of in between some of those berries that are in this group just like all together some of them are a little bit farther away than some of the other ones and I'm trying to make sure that they're not just like this random little blob of red paint. So I'm making sure that there's enough shadow in between them. And when I was done with the actual berry after I made that little uh, black dot on the upper portion of them, I started making the little branch itself. That was of course like a really easy step. I just made this thin little branch and made sure that the right side again was a little bit darker from the left. And then I was working on something else that is not necessarily Christmassy, but I don't uh, like Christmas decorations. I don't decorate my apartment with my boyfriend at all. But if I would be decorating it somehow, I would love to add these dried orange uh, slices somewhere because I think they're so pretty and I like this more dark and vintagey Christmas decorations, I guess. So I decided to paint an orange and I think it really suits together with the other illustrations even though it's of course not like a full-on Christmas um, decoration that people often go for. But as you can see I just made a orangey base for the whole orange slice and then I started adding these um, little lines and strokes on top of that in those kind of um, triangular shapes that you would see if you would slice open a orange. So I made sure to leave some of those lighter spots peeking through the darker color because of course it's going to be a little bit more highlighted and when you're looking at an orange slice you can see that there's more of these kind of highlighted little dots everywhere and I also went with a white gouache on top of this later to kind of accentuate the highlights a bit more. I also just darkened some of the areas in the middle and also in the edges of the slices on the kind of closer to the peel and I also made the skin around the whole thing. And as the last illustration, I made this Christmas gift uh, with this kind of dark brown, almost like craft paper colored paint. So like I said, I like the more vintagey and rustic vibes for Christmas. And I do always like these craft paper packages. I don't do presents with my family, 
but uh, if I would do, I think I would wrap them in a craft paper of some sort because I just really love how that looks and how like elegant but also like rustic and vintagey it looks. So I decided to go for these orangey brown tones to make this package. And I again darkened the left side of the whole thing a lot more and left the right side a little bit more lighter in color. But I still wanted to darken the edges of the whole thing. So the middle part is more lighter in color. And then I added this red ribbon around it. Again, I was using the same colors with the reds that I was using before. And yeah, this was just a fun little step. And I really just enjoyed working on these paintings. And I actually didn't spend that much time on them. I think this took maybe like an hour in total. And I think you could use some of these little elements uh, just by themselves to make like a Christmas card. Or you could just, you know, paint something Christmassy or holiday inspired if you are like kind of lacking that Christmas mood. <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely not in a Christmas mood of any sort. So this was a fun little practice. Uh, now in the beginning of December to just paint something fun and kind of get into that Christmas mood in some way. And as you can see, I was darkening the kind of inner part of the whole ribbon and I was making sure that all of the areas of the ribbons were kind of showing enough and again, they weren't just like a little blob of red paint. And now with the white gouache, I'm adding the stripes to the ribbon. I think it looked a little bit flat without it, so I really liked adding this one and I think it also just brought the whole painting to life. And as you can see here, I'm adding those lighter highlights to the orange slice and that is it for this whole painting. And I really enjoyed working on this and just again getting to the Christmas mood a little bit more. I really hope you liked this video. I know this was a really fast and random one, but I have a lot more videos to come with my bullet journal at the end of the year. So I thought that this could just be like a little random video in between all of those. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video and also leave a Christmassy emoji in the comments if you watched until the end. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!